ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Grumpy Vlogger Live. And welcome to tonight's episode of Grumpy Vlogger Live, uh, 123 of 2023. <clears throat> uh, just taking care of a little bit of last minute business. So, first off, I want to welcome everybody here. Uh, you guys saw the video of, uh, I'm going to bring Art in in a minute, but I want to say this right off the top. You guys saw the video of uh, myself and uh, Rodney Bell flying uh, last week. He was down here to visit his mom for her 90th birthday. And we were talking about it, and uh, he, uh, he was shocked, to say the least, when he saw her. And uh, I got notice this afternoon or this morning that... Uh, he had he had said he was leaving out Saturday, but then something came up. He ended up leaving, uh, getting back down to Dallas uh, with his daughter, and they got a call last night that she had taken a turn for the worse. And so they, his daughter is a uh, registered nurse, and they went up there, and she, his mother passed away at the age of 90 peacefully in her sleep. And I know when he showed me the picture, I... You know, we, we talked about it, and I said, you know, what my mother, mother-in-law mother looked like before she passed away. So, I think he was prepared for it, but not quite at this moment. But all the people that have reached out to him and sent their condolences, that's what I was just checking. Uh, he wanted me to say thank you to each and every one of you that's passed the word along. Keep Rodney in our prayers, man. You couldn't ask for a nicer guy. I've got a little bit of clip where I show... Uh, the sin emotion I'll play playing later, but uh, <clears throat> just you know, our condolences. Keep him in your prayers. Keep him family prayers. He was he was really shocked when he saw her, and uh, we, he showed me a picture of her, and she she uh, just bright smiling face, but she doesn't you know, and she unfortunately passed away in her sleep either early this morning or but he was he was able to get there, and uh, <clears throat> you know. It's just sad when we lose our parents. She lived 90 years, and uh, it's always sad when we lose them, no matter how old we are or how old they are. They're still, they're still our moms and our dads, and we'll miss them. So say a prayer for Rodney. And he, again, he wanted me to thank each and every one of you for the, those that have reached out. Uh, oh, Brad, I hate to hear that. Yeah, you, you know how it feels. My parents passed away. I lost my dad in 96 and my mom in 99, so, you know, but... Definitely condolences out, and, and he, uh, you know, I, I told him if there's anything I can do, because I'm just down the road from where his, his mother lived. So, uh, matter of fact, his cousin actually graduated in the same class from the same high school that Judy did. So, uh, anyways, let's move right along. Let me go ahead and bring in our effervescence, the little man with the big attitude, Art Carlson. Yeah. Hey, Art. Yes, Jeff I would like RT. to send my condolences to Rodney as well. Yeah. I know what, I, what it's like to lose a, a mom. Yeah. My mom unexpectedly had cancer like six, eight, eight weeks before she passed away. And uh, it was pretty rough for me for about yeah, a year or so. Uh, Rodney, we're, we're uh, praying for you and and uh, uh, take care, man. Yeah, because I met Rodney fight. at the uh, spin up in 2019 when he came to pick me up at the airport. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it was. I met him. Well, he actually came up to see his mother. Uh, just before the last spin up, and he came down here, and we did a live stream from the uh, uh, from the uh, uh, barbecue joint barbecue. here in town. Yeah, and uh, then this week, he, you know, he told me he was coming, and so this last Wednesday we got to uh, meet up and fly out at the AMA field. That was a lot of fun, and uh, uh, he had told me then, you know, he and I talked, and he was just absolutely, you know, he was he. He was shocked because yeah. when he seen her a year and a half ago to what, you know, or a little bit over a year ago to what she looks like now was complete yeah. different. And she, uh, 
you know, and he knew that, that he said, if I come back to Oklahoma, it would probably be for her funeral. I don't think when we talked about it last Wednesday, he expected it now. And right. I got the, I got the notice from Chris, Chris Hope. And yeah, I was, same here. I was, you know, I was like, I was speechless. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, I knew, uh, cause we lost her, my Judy lost her mother, uh, about four years ago now. And, uh, I, I know how she looked and how, you know, and how quickly she went after that. You know, we got to go see her before she passed away. But his mother seemed to be, I mean, in, as far as her mind went, she, from from what I understood, she, you know, my mother-in-law, she did, she, she would, had Alzheimer's, but his mother, I think, uh, like I said, it kind of kicked me in the teeth this morning. I wasn't what I expected to wake up to, you know, yeah. and mm-hmm. uh, I expected, you know, maybe another month or two, but. Anyways, thoughts and prayers go out to Rodney, and uh, and to uh, was it Brad? I think he just said that he lost his mother a month ago. So, you know, guys, you know, like I said, I don't care how old you are, you lose your mom. You know, mm-hmm. it's a it's a rough deal. So, let's go ahead and start welcoming everybody into the chat. Moving on to something different, we got Grant, Mister State Drunk, we got Dustin, One Vision Ariel, we've got uh, Jody, Drone Shots, we got Trevor. Uh, let's see. And they, uh, we we got got one drone. yes, I, I saw him pop in. We got Northside Hawk who will be lurking for a little bit. USA drone flyer, Captain Joe America and, uh, Lee McCready. Uh, let's see who else. Adrian Mateo. Adrian, welcome. Eh? Caskill's Caskill Brad. Uh, let's see. And Lake Pilot. Howdy. Yeah, that was. That would I'm be Jack. Looking. Jack, yeah, okay. Joe Fotolio. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jack Rabbit FPV. Uh, Charlie Hatmaker. Is it? I'll have to look at my list. I, Oki yeah. Tom. You know, we have got to do an, an Oklahoma Arkansas meetup. I mean, there's enough there of us go. in this area that we could meet somewhere and mm-hmm. have a. You guys are all, all around the country have many meetups, but we don't have any here, so. Uh, let's see, I said Lake Pilot, I believe. Uh, Okie Tom. Mark R. White. Mark R. White, all the way from the mm-hmm. UK. And, uh, oh, Joe Blaylock, yeah. Joe Blaylock. <laughs> yeah, so, anyways, we had something interesting. Charles Hatmaker. <clears throat> Charles Hatmaker, I did mention his name. <clears throat> we had something very interesting happen here in Oklahoma over, uh, well, this last Friday. and. Uh, I'd I'd woke up and was hearing the all the comments about it, and for whatever reason, Friday, Friday Thursday night, I went to sleep and slept good. Mm-hmm. I went to sleep early and slept through it. But uh, yeah, Arkansas is beautiful in the mountains. They are, and uh, <clears throat> but I got to show this video. It's it's just a black and white video, no sound to it. For some reason, my sound didn't pick up. But you're going to see, it's, it's actually one of my security cameras. You can't really see what it is, but watch the lighting change. And I'm going to go ahead and put myself on full screen, and I'm going to play this. Because this, uh, I didn't know if, uh, let's see if I can find it. Right here it is. And uh, as you can see, it's looking out my front yard, my car's there. This is all infrared night vision. And it's, you know, rolling along, nothing to see, nothing exciting. And uh, it's, I don't know how long it is here. Look right there. Did you guys see that? Yes. Was that a meteor? That was a meteor. And it, yeah, it it caught that. I could have got more of it on my back camera, but I haven't haven't trimmed up around my camera. The weeds have grown in front of that camera, so I didn't get as much. (laughs) And for some reason, I didn't want, but that front one, but... Yeah, that was a meteor that went through here. Wow. Uh, it actually uh, traveled across, and my son, I guess he's got some really good videos on his, but awesome. it was so close that it actually had a sonic boom on it. It was that wow. low. It came across, and it shook the house when it went past, and then the sonic boom came right after that. Right. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that that's a, awesome. Yeah, let oh, me then we have again. Joel, Mr. Skyfly. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let me play that one more time so you guys can see that. Yeah, it kind of kind of goes by real fast. Like I said, nothing yes, exciting. This is, you know, 
but then all of a sudden it looks like daylight for a second. Uh, mm -hmm. It just comes strolling along, and I, and I had to hunt for this clip because uh, through all my camera feeds, but this is the best one I could get. But it's just, uh, you know, what I forgot to do. Hang on a second. Let me. I forgot to set it up. Give me just. Let me put myself back on here real quick. Let me go in here to that. I forgot to change the setting on this stupid thing. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. All right, let me play that again. Uh, wait, where is it? Mm -hmm. There it is. Now, it should start playing here, and you'll see, as I said, it just kind of rolls along there, and then it starts from the other side of my truck. It starts... Uh, There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Is that not friggin' unbelievable? <laughs> and uh, it's just not something you catch every day, you know? So right. let me let me go back to but and put myself back up here. But yeah, mm -hmm. I saw that my because uh, my son said he got on his security cameras. I I didn't even think I actually had to look up online and see exactly what day it was. So that was the greeting to Judy's birthday because that's the other thing. Judy, Judy and uh, uh, Rodney's mother both celebrate the same day, uh, uh, January twentieth. Is uh, Judy was seventy four and his mother was seventy or was ninety, and uh, so yeah. But uh, you know that was just an amazing. And I guess I might have got a better shot with my ring doorbell, but I forgot to charge the battery on it this week, so. It's in low power mode, so it drops and it doesn't record video once it in. You know, it works as a doorbell, but that's it. You know, it right. says somebody's at the front door, but it, you know, I need to get about three batteries for that friggin' thing so that I can just mm -hmm. take one out, put it in as soon as it, because it notifies you. But, uh, wow, that's awesome. That's something I have never seen in my life. I thought I'd never get to see something like that, and, you know, so that was kind of cool. But, uh, it I've seen the uh, Perseid meteor shower. This was yeah, several well, years ago. We right now is the time of year that we've got a crap load of meteors coming through this area right now. Yeah. The meteor mm -hmm. showers come through. They I think from about the nineteenth through the I think the twenty sixth, maybe one of the other Okies that is watching can uh mm. might know about it because uh but yeah, it was like and it was uh Saw that. Saw a couple of a couple of good ones. I've seen some good meteor shares, but this thing, well, this thing actually it triggered the lightning detector over Wagner County, which is the next county up, and that's the way it was coming. It was coming from the south and headed north, and uh, that's why that shadow it, that was coming from the south side of our house. And uh, yeah, I know I need to plug it in. Is what I ought to do. That's what I should have done. <laughs> but uh, I should have bought the one where you can use your original doorbell. Right. Have you tried Meteor? Scatter Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, but it was unique. And I have one camera that's offline right now because, uh, and another one I need to trim the hedges. And the third one I didn't have, for some reason, I didn't have the recording turned on on that one. So oh. it's like, man, bummer. So I got that one. That's a good but I sit there watching and watching and watching, and I knew about the time it was supposed to hit, and you watch a bunch of little, you know, 15-second or, you know, one-minute, two-minute clips, and it's like, all of a sudden, like, whoa, that, mm -hmm. you know, because it almost looked like a giant lightning flash, you know, two yes. flashes, and, but but the shadow, the way it, the light, mm -hmm. the way it traveled across, and, uh, mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, so that's, that was that, and, uh. Yep, I saw your video today. Uh, I'm hungry now. I'm actually <laughs> going to have to. I just had to, some for dinner tonight. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to make some goulash. I haven't had that. Uh, Judy's cousin used to make it. And uh, uh, whenever we would go out camping, and we used to camp, you know, almost every other weekend. Meteor scatter is a method of balancing radio waves by amateur operators of meteor shower. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, yeah, all right. That makes oh, 
Mudball Creative is in here. All right. Yeah. Hey, Don. And we got Chuck Kovach. Oh, Chuck. Yeah, I meant to say hi to Chuck. I saw his name pop up. Meant to say hi, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah. Uh, I'll, also, I'm going to uh, play a mm-hmm. clip here in a few minutes of. It's just a short, just the part I, uh, uh, because. It's the part where Rodney, I'm filming Rodney using the Cinemotion for uh, the uh, uh, motion controller. Hello, Captain Ray. Welcome to my Captain show. Captain Ray, hey. And uh, I sent out a couple uh, uh, links to a couple people to come in. And, you know, uh, uh, Dominic said he would be lurking for a little while, but he'll probably be up. But, uh, cool. Joe, that didn't sound right. What's up, Chuck? Yeah. And we've got Alicia B. <laughs> ah, chat. Alicia B. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. My, uh, it seems my uh, channel is starting to grow again. Or, is, you know, I'm yeah. getting that. At least oh, my live shows are starting to come on. My uh, cooking channel blew up. I went Did from it? 32, now I'm up to 54. So, okay, Ron, yeah. I did send you the link, didn't I, Ron? Say yes if I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I, I, hell, I guess I could look this way. Uh, yes, so I did. Did you like you. my uh, red uniform? Yeah, I, you had showed me that when you first got it, and I thought that was pretty right. sharp. Where'd you get that mm-hmm. at? Yep. Did you order it off of Amazon? Yes, I did. Yeah. I had the fancy, the name put in the the hat. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, uh, forgot what I was going to say now, but, oh, my wife, Judy, Judy's cousin, uh, Kathy, and, and we used to camp, we had two sets of cousins, my cousin and his wife, and Judy's cousin and her husband, and we would kind of alternate weekends, you know, depending on when they had vacation because they didn't necessarily always get along so we they shared us between the two couples uh, and uh, ooh, and unfortunately nice. Ju- judy's cousin and my cousin mm-hmm. judy's cousin a little bit of swap is, in there huh? yeah not that kind god no i'd have, <laughs> I'd have to be i'd have to be i'd have to be dead to be that desperate <laughs> And then I would probably roll over my grave. But anyways, <laughs> she was a sweet person, but nah. Yeah. But anyways, we used to camp with one or the other of the couples. And, uh, you know, we'd go traveling with them and stuff. And whenever we, the first first time out, of the, you know, usually in March was our first camping trip. And Judy's cousin, mm-hmm. Kath, would make a big pot of goulash. And that's about the only time we got that I got goulash because, Judy used to make it when the kids were at home, but then it's just her and me, and it just wasn't worth all that trouble. So, yeah, it is a lot of a work. But boy, this, it tastes good. I do it in the crock pot. My friend gave me a beautiful MAGA pin. I put it on my adventures hat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I. My other problem is, is I'm either going to have to get you know dig out the old uh, the old skillet, you know the the electric skillet, so I can fry the hamburger up, or I'm going to have to break down and go buy a friggin' stove because I still haven't replaced the one since that broke down at Christmas. Hmm. It's amazing man. what you can do in a microwave, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know so. Uh, but yeah, we got man, Andrew for that. Hey, Andrew. Andrew, welcome. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so uh, let me just let me just go ahead and put this one video up. Let me put myself back on full. And good. it's just a short one. It's it's the only reason I'm showing this part is mainly it's the demonstration of how the uh, uh, Cinemotion works. You know what, Ray? You can say whatever the hell you want because I don't care. Yeah. You got most everybody who knows me knows how I lean. And, uh, uh, you know, so. uh, 
no, we're not becoming Chef Grumpy. It's, it's, it's art that's becoming the chef. But anyways, let me play this little bit of a video here. And this is when I was flying with, uh, uh, met up with uh, Rodney Bell out at the AMA field. And if you guys watch my videos, which they're, to be honest with, they're long, but, you know, this is the opening <laughs> one of them. So. I got to finish this trip with some money left. Yeah, yeah. Well, here is Rodney Bell, folks. Hello. And he is using the new Cinemotion Hello. controller that those are my eyeglasses. I mounted to uh, my table. I was holding my eyeglass in my hand at the same time. So uh, go find somebody else to pedal your stuff to, okay? Goodbye. <laughs> That's his cousin telling of so uh, don't you tell one of them phone call legal. solicitors to go take a hike. Folks, this is how the Cinemotion works. Uh, Rodney's been kind enough to Try not to crash my drone, and he's this. This how it works, folks. It's that simple. I just yeah. bolted a table. You can velcro it down. You can uh, got slots. To you like run that controller, the Rodney? Velcro. I do. Yeah. I'm filming you, by the way, in case you didn't know. So. I figured that one out, Lord. Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. You're lucky you have my permission. Well, I do now because you just gave it <laughs> <laughs> on camera. You heard that, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> it gets away from you, even at the speed, even at that oh, slow speed. I, I was coming up and I saw the windstock and I thought it yeah. went straight across that height. <laughs> and I missed right where the windstock. Were you? <laughs> yeah, he was. He was flying right into that windstock. Good save, by the way. Thanks. Anyway, anyway it's folks, FTV flying. let me go back to this and take me off because you guys are seeing enough of my ugly mug as it is. But that was the Cinemotion and. I'm telling you, I just bolt, I bolted it down to that folding table and, you know, took Because Rodney says, you got any folding chairs? And I just happened to have two that I could get to. Uh, the others are all up at my cabin. The good ones are all up at my cabin. So those were just your standard, you know, added mm -hmm. church style folding chairs, you know, or school style. But uh, that thing is just anybody who's flown flight simulator. That's the way, in my opinion, that's the best way to fly that uh, Avada. Yeah. You know, unless you're wanting to do the whoop de doos and the flip de flues and all that <laughs> stuff. And I'm not going to, okay? I haven't even taken it in, I haven't even put it in sports mode yet. You know? And it's probably I a good have thing because. It's all. Yeah, lot. well, it, it's probably a good <laughs> thing because I have this tendency to. Uh, you know, I like as you watch on my on that airfield, and that was a that was an actual airfield originally. It was set up to be an ultralight. It, the guy that mm -hmm. built that, uh, hello Charles G Gillespie, yeah. and uh, so I like to fly down that thing, go up, and then kind of you know just bank, you know just mm -hmm. turn it and bring it over, and then just get as come down as fast and low to the ground as I as I can. Mm -hmm. I might hit the ground a lot more if I had you know. <laughs> I've only hit the ground once, but I was if I was in sports mode, I'd have to start practicing because you know, as you could see, even uh, Rodney was running that thing full trigger because you, know, yeah. you start and you, you know you just run it full trigger and it's just like that's it and it's. Mm -hmm. uh, I was waiting for you to buzz those cows. Well, <laughs> yeah, I thought of that, and here it is. Yeah, somebody special. Hey, Ron, hey, how hey. you doing, buddy? Hey, Ron. How are you? How are you guys tonight? We're doing pretty good. Just had some uh, elk burger goulash for dinner. Yeah, I see you're getting in the kitchen there, Art. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, I know how you feel there, Lake Pilot. As his, his wife's watching The Bachelor, you can feel it sucking the intelligence and common sense right out of me from the... Yeah, I feel that way about a lot of those shows. That's why I don't watch regular TV anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I stream everything. Cause, uh, I, uh, the only thing that I can say is close to regular TV, and that's watching uh, Tulsa King, you know? Yes. yes. Hello, yeah, Rodney. Welcome to like. the show. Hey, Rodney. And, uh, Rodney, if you would like to come in, I didn't send you an invitation because I figured you probably weren't really in, 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 into it, but I will gladly send you an invitation if you'd like to come on here. Uh, but, uh, let me highlight that. Where was that? Where'd it go? Uh, 
uh, yeah, it was, wow. I was, uh, I, I, I was, like I said in the opening of the show, I was shocked. Because, uh, you know, we talked about it last Wednesday, Rodney, and I just was blown away uh, by it. So, but, yeah. Okay, absolutely, I will do that. Uh, yeah, if I did this right, we got Mickey McH in the chat. There you go. I think that's the right one. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Rodney. And my dad, yeah. So, did you say hi to Oki Tom? Yeah. Yes, I said hi to Oki Tom. I mentioned even remember I mentioned that us Okies need to get together and have a mini meetup. Yeah. Okay. Alex Escardo. Alex Escardo, AME. Yeah. Aerials. Mm -hmm. Oh, welcome to the Not show. Escargo. Escardo. I said Escardo. I didn't say escargo. But anyway, so. It's I don't like know, I the take it. snail that painted the S on the side of his car. So everybody could say, look at that escargo. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and he saves the day. Hey, Hello, Rodney. Good evening, hey, Rodney. everybody. Hey, I I'm not gonna stay long. I just uh, I just got back to the hotel room and just wanted to uh, say thank you, Lloyd, for telling everybody. I was kind of watching as we was coming back to the hotel and uh, for telling everybody. I said thank you and to everybody in the chat. Now, if anybody knows, I do. This drone community is one of the best communities in the world. So many people, so many of you all have reached out to me today and it's just, it's, it's been a blessing and it's warmed my heart and it's helped me get through the day. So I just want yeah. to say thank you to everybody. And, uh, I appreciate each and every one of you and, and Art and Ron, good evening. And Lloyd, thank you again, brother. Yeah, and like I said, I'm just down the road right now from you, from where you're at at the moment. So if you need yep. anything, give me a, and right. uh, keep me updated on services and stuff like that too, if you would. I will do. We we All go right. tomorrow to to the funeral home to uh, make the you arrangements. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, I you know I I would just like I said I told the guys you know we talked about it. When, last Wednesday and how she looked and I was just shocked when I heard it this morning I you know we talked about the next time you'd be back and I just wasn't prepared for her uh yeah that, that just caught me off guard I, I don't think uh anybody is really prepared for it my uh Never. my daughter came up with me and she uh I'm trying to get the the, the chats up here but I keep getting messages, so everything gets interrupted. Susan, right. Lee, good evening. One Vision Ariel, everybody. Bob Casey, good evening. I think I've got the right live stream. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope so. Uh, we yeah. got Ronnie uh, in the chat. God bless America. Go, well, Ronnie. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. And, uh, you know, this is one good community, and and I just appreciate everybody. Yeah, that yeah, is, has it is. Helped. I think I think this comment right down there says it all. We're all family, right. you know. I, mm -hmm. I I I yes, we are. I I was telling my daughter how much it's you know when you go to a meetup, it's not that you're meeting new people; it's you're meeting yeah, a long, a long not long lost, but. <laughs> Long unseen family is right. what it is. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, I have cousins that live in town that I haven't seen for <laughs> four or five years. But, you know, we get together, and it's a good old time, you know. And, yeah. Uh, USA but, Drone Flyer, yes, yes, I agree. 
So, so. but you're in our hearts and prayers, Rodney. Well, I, and, uh, I, I appreciate so is your it. family. And, uh, and and I'm gonna go ahead and back out. I just like I said, I just wanted to come on and, and tell everybody thank you and, and absolutely. You all have a good night, and I'll, Lloyd, I'll keep you updated. Ron, okay, thank you. You yep. too. All right, Rodney. Oh. Call if you need something. Thank you, Rodney. All yep. Right. Have God a good bless, one. buddy. All right. Good night. Bye, everybody. Ah, oh, that's a. That's always hard when you lose a parent, you know, even, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, when you're prepared for it. But uh, uh, like I said, we talked last Wednesday. I just honestly, when I saw that, you know, and I had seen something he posted Saturday about he was because I knew his plans were to get up Saturday morning uh, and head back down to Dallas to spend the weekend with his his daughter and son-in-law. And he said something up with his mom, and it got delayed. And I might have seen that in the chat on Friday. And uh, 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 so I knew there. And after t with talking with him, because he showed me her pictures and stuff, and he says he was just mm. shocked when he when he walked in and saw her from a little bit over a year ago that he saw her. <clears throat> and uh, so I knew something was going on there, and you know I kind of waiting to see what was. And then, but when I got that notice this morning is like oh my god you know i wasn't expecting mm -hmm. it you know but uh, anyways but it was fun flying with rodney that was the yeah. highlight of this trip if nothing else we got together we we flew for 30 minutes and mm -hmm. bs for two hours <laughs> and just uh yeah, it's a wonderful little field out there but uh don't think it's gonna be uh uh I don't think I'm going to be flying this week because we are under a winter storm watch. Last week it was 70. This week <laughs> they're expecting four to six inches of snow tomorrow afternoon through Wednesday morning. Go figure, it's Oklahoma. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mother Nature's well, we're supposed it's... to get some snow. <laughs> yeah. Mother Nature is, yeah, It's it's been a weird winter. You know, we've had mm -hmm. some excessive cold and... Then some except uh, winter storm Cassandra, yeah, that sounds about right. Mm -hmm. But uh, so, Ron, what have you been doing? Uh, about one word: working. That's what. Working. That's uh, it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I started uh, a little bit excessive uh, third week in December, and I think I've had a total of five, six, seven days off since about December fifteenth. Um, yeah, I knew you'd been putting in a lot of work, and uh, but you're trying to build up so you can take that time to go up to uh, Canada and Alaska. So yep, I got the bear hunt, you know, in and the Alaska trip in June. Yeah, yeah. got to so, pay to play, my friend. You got to pay to play. Yeah, if you want to hear the music? Got to pay the band. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. That's exactly it. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, but but yeah, yeah I'm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh Ron wants to go hunt again. Yeah, are you gonna feel the least bit guilty that that uh after when you get up to Alaska that you may have killed some of the cousins to the same ones you're taking pictures of? No. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know, Ron, that recipe that I have, you could substitute elk with the bear burger or Whatever kind of meat you want to use will work. Oh, for the, the goulash? For the goulash. Yeah. 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 I'm going to try. Uh, yeah. I have a lot, of, a lot of buffalo meat right now. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, buffalo meat is. Yeah. Yep. I think it's, it's the reason I, I'm not fond of buffalo meat, and it's only because I. We went up, we have a, a, a wild uh, preserve up, up here up near Bartlesville. And uh, uh, it's owned by Phillips from, or it was owned by the Phillips family, Phillips 66. Wooler Rock is what it's called. I was trying to think of the name. And they have buffalo, you know, they have, you know, buffalo out there that they raise. And they also had buffalo burgers. Well, Judy and I, I don't know, for our 15th anniversary or something, we decided, we got this wild hair. She says, we haven't been to Wooler Rock since the kids, since we first got married. And I said, okay, mm -hmm. let's go up there. 
So we went up there, and I got to admit, there's some beautiful uh, uh, buildings, the old, uh, uh, out of the 1930s, uh, who's the big architect back? Uh, anyway, see, there, there's some beautiful... Quit it! Dogs are fighting. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's some beautiful buildings up there, and we went out to Wooler Rock, and... It just so happened that particular day set an all-time record high. Now, this is prairie grass, you know, open open plains. To hunt. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Alyssa B. Frank Lloyd Wright buildings uh, mm-hmm. up there. And he had a lot of influence in Tulsa, and uh, mm-hmm. which if you watch Tulsa King, you can see a few of those mm-hmm. type of buildings in the Tulsa King. But... Uh, they had elk burgers, and that was basically the only thing they had there that they were serving of sandwiches. So I had, you know, a, a, a barbecued elk or, you know, like a sloppy joe type elk burger. Elk or that, buffalo? Buffalo, I meant. Buffalo. Oh. Buffalo burgers. <laughs> that is something you don't want to put on your stomach when it's 106 degrees out. Mm. And you're walking oh. through this. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was just like, it just didn't taste right. I go back. I said, oh, I don't think I'll be doing mm. buffalo. I've had buffalo since then in a nicer environment where it wasn't sitting at a picnic table doing yeah. you know, fighting the flies and, you know, oh, 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 we lost Ron. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wave my hand and he falls over like, what the hell? <laughs> but, yeah, uh, so I I went to another thing they had a cookout and they were it was a, a, a men's uh, uh Yes, Joe Blaylock. That's what it was. It was, a, uh, it was a gut bomb. It it uh, it it just about did me in that day. But but there's a there's a men's church group, and they have these wild and they had these wild uh, all the you know, everybody brought in their favorite wild game, oh. and they had a big smorgasbord of it. And my band was invited. We were on television, and my band was invited to play. Uh, you know, we played a, couple, a set of bluegrass music and uh, whatever else we could think of to play. And then we got a free dinner out of it. That's, that was what was important. Yeah. And Johnny Groneflyer, welcome. Hey, John. Uh, and uh, I got to admit, man, they had, they had alligator, they had elk, they had bear, they had moose, they had, uh, oh, my God, you know, they, let's see, bear, moose. They had buffalo and uh you just man, I almost got sick because of, because of overeating. But uh, <laughs> and they they had venison, you know. They had just about mm-hmm. every kind of wild game you could think of because you know it's Oklahoma and everybody likes to hunt around here. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> and a lot of them go out of state to hunt. So they even had some. Uh, they even had some uh, pronghorn, uh, you know, antelope. Oh yeah, and, yep. Uh, yep. you know, I was. It was all pretty good. They call them prairie goats. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I'm sitting here keeping an eye on my dog. Lord knows we have enough of them here. Ugh. Yeah. Judy's about ready to beat the heck out of it. Our puppy is about this big. She's about that big, and she's terrorizing the older Chihuahua. That our <laughs> nine-week-old puppy is terrorizing, and so he he got she can get off the bed, but she can't always get back up on the bed. So. He got up on the bed and then went over there and started uh, <clears throat> Judy's napping and started prouncing, trying to walk around on her, get her to wake up. So you know, uh, Judy <laughs> just reached up and swatted him and went back to sleep. So, yeah. <laughs> Tar Heel Aerials, welcome. Hey, yeah. Let's see, uh, Mr. Skyfly. I know. I, t- uh, I, th- I think I've got every. I think I've got everybody. I, you know, and. I don't say it, but I really appreciate you guys that come on. I know that I'm not your typical drone channel. You know, if you're lucky, you see two, two drone videos a decade out of mm-hmm. me. And <laughs> I always like to so, pop my head at the door and say hi once in a while when I can. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But I appreciate you guys coming on. And uh, uh, it's, you know, some days I, you know, some days I have something to talk about. Some days I don't. Today's been kind of a bummer day because, unfortunately, you know, yeah. one of our family members, uh, you know, lost their mom. So uh, that was, like I said, that was a shock to me. And, and I guess yeah. what really hit home was the fact <clears throat> Judy hasn't been doing as well as she 
could have been here lately, and that the fact that his mom and Judy both shared the same birth date, that kind of, you know, that kind of yeah. hits home to you, you know, because they're both, yeah. their birthday was Friday, and uh, Judy's birthday was Friday, and so was Rodney's mother. And uh, that's the whole reason he was up here, not because he expected her to pass, but he was up here for her uh, her birthday, her 90th birthday. And uh, on Art's birthday, uh, now there's, there we go. It's the thunder from down under. Yeah. Good afternoon. I'm hoping that the uh, <clears throat> background noise isn't too much. No, it just gives us some ambiance. We need all that we can get. Hello, Bob Casey. Welcome Bob to the show. Bob Casey, and then we have Michael's Drone and RC. Michael's Drone and RC. You know, this just goes to prove you that there really is nothing good on television tonight yeah. because they're watching my show. <laughs> no no playoff game tonight. I mean, we're all no playoff. Yes. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yep, that's it. So. About them Cowboys. I was going to say, did... did they lost. I thought, yeah, I thought I saw they the lost. 49ers. And, you know, and the Bills yeah. lost to the Bengals. 49ers and the Bengals, that's going to be a, you know, that's. No, well, Bengals are. Well, uh, Bengals. Th th this is the conference. This is a play conference. Next okay. weekend will be the. Be the. Well, it was the, the division, now it's a conference next week. Conference, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And whoever Shows wins how much those I, goes to the Super the, Bowl. The only time I pay attention to football is 1.30 a.m. here. Most of the, oh, what's he say? Most most of the good telly is just being repeated again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, you're in the U.K., so that's, you know. Yeah. Actually, I think most of everything's repeats now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just sitting chilling out in the hotel room tonight. I, I'm working over in Bismarck the next two days. And Ooh. we've been getting a lot of freezing fog in the morning. Right. And yeah. Dickinson, where I normally work, is about an hour and a half west of here. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to drive that at four or five in the morning. So I come up here and grab the hotel. And now I'm only five minutes from work tomorrow morning. Now, you said freezing fog? Oh, yeah. It's been terrible this past two weeks. Every morning. What is freezing fog? Because, I mean, it, we have freezing rain down it's, here. It's technically fog, and then all, all of your surfaces are just like, almost like black ice. Oh, okay. All right. It's yeah. terrible. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I, I do. All right. That I, that I understand. Yeah. No. Yeah. But, I think yeah, it's we're, called frog. 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 Freezing, yeah. fo freezing fo frog. Frog. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know. Right. Mm. Dominic. I don't, you know, this is why he's no longer a comedian. Yeah. You know, that, that hey, his, away from me. His, his, yeah, his jokes. <laughs> you know, did you write your own material art when you were doing stand up? <laughs> yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Go back another to good explanation. Another good explanation why he's a retired comedian. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, are I'm sorry, you a art. naughty list now? Yeah. From you. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes, naughty yeah. List. His his political show was on the naughty list for. Oh uh, yes, yes. We got it off YouTube jail yesterday. Him. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He we did our first broadcast, or he did his first broadcast uh, yesterday, and I tried my best to just use, you know, yeah. innuendos and stuff yeah. like that without we can't actually say saying gun show. We yeah, I kept say saying pew pew. Show. I kept saying a gun show because they will they will block you. Yeah. Yeah. But here's a little thing that I know that YouTube doesn't know. Because I live in the state of Oklahoma, guess what? Constitutional they care. No, they can't blacklist me. Oh? We have, we, we they wrote a law that does not allow social media to block us in Oklahoma, and it's already been tested in the courts. So, unless they shut me down right now, and then I'll have to contact the Attorney General of the state of Oklahoma and have myself put back on. Yeah. But as of, but Oklahoma passed a law that says that social media cannot block your content. And if they do, 
they will be sued, and there and it's already been held up in court. I have already had test trials of all of the social media. So, mm. okay. so I'll you say gun show a, one more time. Mm. <laughs> you know, for a um, non-liberal, non-Karen state that I live in in Wyoming, right? Mass senator right now is trying to pass a law that if you got a drone hovering above your property, that you can shoot it down. It's trying to pass oh, a law. What? It's not. Are you sure yeah. it's a senator? <clears throat> I believe it is. Yeah. You're, some probably, you Republican something or another from uh, yeah, Wyoming. There's only one congressman because uh, that would be Hageman. She's the one yeah. that defeated uh, Cheney in the primary. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Bob brings up a point here, but from what I understand is it's been, you know, of course, it will eventually go to the you know, U.S. Supreme Court if they mm -hmm. contest it. But, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and, you know, it's real simple. I can, you know, I can still do it on Facebook. I can still do it on, uh, <clears throat> but the way the law was was uh, written, and uh, I had forgot about it. It just, uh, it's a federal offense to shoot down an yeah. aircraft. Surely they can't it's... make a law to contravene. Yeah. They would override it. Anything that's federal would override it. Yes, yeah the, yeah, the state uh, does not have the authority. And she's, oh, is that the one where they're trying to, they're, want, they're, they're saying it, there should, if, under the privacy issues, do they say should be allowed to shoot down? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that old. I, I actually I saw that on Ken Harris show. Yeah. Uh, I, I sent yeah. It to him. Oh, you're the one who sent it to him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That old curmudgeon needs to. You know, he looked like he needed to pack up his bags and go home. He's he's been too long up there. But. Yeah. But uh, let's see. But yeah, it's uh, I don't know why. Uh, anybody, I mean, you know, what's the thing with a drone? I mean, it's like it's like here in Muskogee. There's no way I would use a drone to spy on the women in Muskogee, because I can tell you that pound for pound, we got the fattest ass women of any state in the union. I mean, they grow up on. Big Macs and, and and macaroni and cheese, you know, and they have 20 kids and they feed them all. They just shovel mm -hmm. it into them. And we end up with these wide load women. And in Muskogee, yeah. Oklahoma, is where they mm -hmm. all end up settling, you know. Yep. It's like, you know, and then for pound, we got the sweatpants. It looks you, like they've got a bunch of croquet balls yes. in a bag. Yeah, exactly. And I swear to God, they do. And they get in Walmart mm -hmm. and they get right yeah. in my friggin'. I have, I've said, ladies, you know, come on. I, I'll say, excuse me. And about the fourth time I have to say, excuse me, I said, honk, honk, move the fat ass out of the way. And they usually do. And then flip me off. <laughs> well, Lloyd, be why. careful. You might get crop dusted by one of those fat old ladies. Yep. Yep. You don't want that. I, I yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, mm -hmm. uh. Oh, here's something else. I was going to do a video on it, but I think I'm just going to bitch about it tonight because this Why is not? the Grumpy Vlogger Show. Go for mm -hmm. it. Okay, so, and I, I think I told you about this, Art, Yes. So, I ran to the store and picked up some groceries and stuff the other day, and I got home and I realized I forgot to get Judy's Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. And like, shit. So, I get out and I run down here to the Walgreens. They always have it on sale. <coughs> And I look at it, and they got three for, I don't know, X amount. I didn't even look at it. And it was like, okay, all right, it's a little higher than you'd pay normally. But it was just, you know. So I grab it, and I said, I go up there. And it's the only thing I had, go to ring out. It was a 12-pack of Dr. Pepper, 12-ounce cans. He says, that'll be $9.89. I said, huh? I said, excuse me, what did you say? That will be $9.89. I said, you can keep your Dr. Pepper. I said, I ain't paying that much. He said, ah, but if you buy three of them, we can get them, give them for $17.99. I said, you know what? 
just keep your fucking doctor paper. I'll go somewhere where it's worthwhile. Yeah. And I went up to, so I go up to the local IGA store and I look at their prices. You know, six eighty nine for a twelve pack of doctor paper. Okay, a little high, but hey, it was convenient and it was cheaper. Well, this is one of those stores that has ten percent above cost, and I figured that was fig. You know, put into the uh, the price of the six eighty nine that was on the friggin' shelf. No, no, gets up there and he, and I, I pull out. I, I figure six eighty nine tax. You know, it's going to be seven dollars, and you know, I'll pull out eight dollars. That'll cover it and get my change back. So I got it out there, and he said that'll be eight twenty nine. I said, excuse me, it'd be eight twenty nine. Okay, and here you go. I pull out another dollar, hand it to. Uh, Exactly. So I, I walk out, and I pull up my receipt, and I looked. I paid 70 cents in tax. Okay. But I also found out I paid 70 cents, that 10% surcharge that they talk about advertised. Why didn't the hell they, they, don't they just put it on the damn price instead of giving you, it's like, well, bull crap. I still ended up, it was still, it was still cheaper than Walgreens. Yeah. Oh, I was pissed off that night. <laughs> yeah, three mm -hmm. for 12 bucks is normally what I pay. Mm. And why Why this, I think this idiot just, did, I don't think he cleared his register from before me and, you know, <laughs> and I was, or may, you know. <coughs> oh, and yeah, eggs. How about the price of eggs? Almost 10 bucks for a dozen. I know, I know. Andrew says 10% is credit card sur surcharge. I paid cash. I don't use credit cards at, mm. at grocery stores. Yeah. I, I pay cash, you know, yep. because I don't want... No, that's what they charge at this. It's called shopper's value, and it advertises only 10% above cost. I'm like, who's friggin' cost, you know? But uh, the reason eggs have gotten so high is because of avian flu. A lot of the... And, what happened is a lot of the uh, commercial growers, uh, <clears throat> well, most of them were bought out by the Chinese anyways, and yes, the bird flu came through all the com a lot of the commercial yeah. growers and uh, uh, yeah. and just wiped them out. And so they're, they're desperate. The people that are making a fortune right now are doing good are the ones that have uh, chicken in, you know, fr uh, free-range chicken and stuff yeah. like that. Hello, Maker Steve. How you doing? And uh, uh, those are those are the ones right now that are sitting there laughing, saying, "Ah, I told you what would happen with your commercial, you know." Oh, yeah. and uh, here in Colorado, a, a new law just went into effect in January, saying, "Saying from now on, all eggs sold in Colorado have to be from a uh, free-range chick." Yeah, so that even Puts our eggs up even further. I went and bought a, a six, you know, six eggs. Right. It was almost five friggin' bucks. You guys are no, holy worse in California, lawyer. Uh, yeah, Colorado yeah. is getting, it's turning into the yeah. new California. Mm. And, uh, I mean, I knew that was going to start happening clear back when I was a kid. And the Kennedys were flying out there to go snow skiing every, every winter, you know. Mm. Once they, once those Democrats got embedded into Colorado, you can't wedge them yeah. out with a stick of dynamite. It's oh, like, and the, uh, the Hollywood liberals, they all moved to Aspen. They got their yeah, go mega mansions up in the mountains there. Uh, God bless America. Yeah, go ahead. If you want to put the link up there and all art, you can share it if, if you figure it out quicker than I do usually. But, uh, yeah, we're all about, yeah, I talk about wastefulness. Of course, you know, you, you buy eggs, and if you don't use them a lot, they'll go bad. Mm -hmm. Well, the other day, my son went to cook something, and he, he, you know, he just needed a couple. He was going to fry a couple or uh, do a couple of omelets, you know. So he cracks open the first one. The egg was bad. Second one, he starts looking at it. Third one ended up. All the eggs he had left were all bad. Mm. So he had to throw out like eight eggs. And then he went to make meatloaf and didn't think about it until afterwards. He forgot. And, and his wife said to him, well, you didn't put no eggs in the uh, meatloaf. 
He said, I didn't have any. They were all bad. I would have made the meatloaf if it hadn't been for, uh, <clears throat> you know, he says, I would have made the meatloaf if I'd have thought, you know. Anyway, he wasn't thinking. He says, that's all right. It just holds the stuff together. So he said the meatloaf was pretty good, but I'm thinking, God, that was like, you know, that was like 75 cents a piece that he was throwing down the, you know, yep. throwing in the trash, you know. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, GBA just put the link in. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That. Yeah. Let me see if I can. All right. Let's link a new tab. Okay. Uh, oh, Mark R. White has a, a good point. Eggs last longer in the fridge. You put them in a cup of water. If it sinks, it's fine. If it floats, it's gone bad because it has the gas yes. built up in it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to put up there. Let's see. Dee, 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 dee. Present. Uh, air screen. Uh, chrome tab. This one. All right, here we go. Let's see what it is. And let's hit play. Whoops, I out here a while ago. And, uh, People Let just get real. On. I was outside here a while ago, and uh, this crackhead girl come walking up up the driveway here. Walked up, kind of snuck up on me, scared me a little bit. And she Anybody told me that? that she'd give me a blowjob and a donut for a roll of toilet paper. Well, I guess she come off the parkway. I don't know, but when she left, she went right over between... Matt Spence in the barn <laughs> and was headed over towards Justin's house. So I just warning y'all, it's getting crazy around here. Oh, okay, that was good. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Yeah, that one was hilarious. <laughs> oh, excellent. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. I take it everybody could hear the sound on that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, isn't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And the show has gone officially downhill, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we needed some humor. That, that was good. We needed some humor yeah. anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Talking about this depressing stuff about the price of eggs and, and mm -hmm. yeah. It's just, uh <clears throat> I don't know. It's a crazy world we're living in. I didn't think I'd ever mm -hmm. live to see a day that was quite, you know, a time in our history around. It's not just here in the United States. I mean, hell, it's everywhere. Yep. The whole friggin' world is, you know, the whole the whole friggin' world has gone crazy, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, boy, and, did, uh, the only thing I can contest you on is you ever come up here to South Dakota or Wyoming and you're <laughs> talking about your corn-fed women. We've got our share. You come up here, you might just say, "Hey, I'm going back to Oklahoma." Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't know what it is, but when my my daughter-in-law, uh, my son that lives next door, his wife, when she first moved out here, she didn't know her way around, it, and at, at that time, James was working the night shift, so she didn't, you know, know how to get around or anything. So I took her on a tour through, through Muskogee to show her. I said, this is something you've got to see. And so I took her to Walmart because she wanted to know how to get there. And I said, well, we're going to sit here and we're going to observe. And so we sat there and we parked. And I said, now, if you look down this parking row here, or you could probably find among any of them, but notice there's two women walking down the lane that you drive through. They're pushing their carts. They're cheek to cheek, and you can't get around either one of them. They were so wide that they literally <laughs> were from, you couldn't have got a cart through there, let alone try to drive. You had to get behind them and, you know, basically watch as, as, as they go. You know, I said, that's Muskogee, Oklahoma. We have women, and they were wearing spandex, of course. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like, you know, that's the worst. I mean, it's a jello roll. Yeah, I mean, it, I understand people cannot help being fat. I'm not skinny by any means. Uh, but... Good God, folks! Maybe, maybe it was at least just dressed look like two. 
Well, I tell you what, I think they were trying to attract some of the wild hippos from around here. I don't know what yeah. they're why they dress that way, but uh, it does. It looks like a looks like a bag full of cats fighting each other when they walk down the Walmart aisle. You know, yeah. it's, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. They I, say, I, did you ever hear the same what? love is only a light switch away, but you can still. Fight yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like. I was talking well, we got to somebody. Ben that, Cartwright. Ben chat, Cartwright, right? welcome. Yeah, uh, one of the, somebody said to me the other day. Said I was talking about how ugly my second wife was, you know. And uh, I was drinking a lot back then, just getting out of the service. And we got married. And when I sobered up, I realized how ugly she was. And somebody says, "Oh, she's a two bagger." And, and I said, two bagger." Says, "Yeah, in case her bag falls off, put one over <laughs> your face." Yeah, you know, a bag for you and a bag for her in case hers falls off. Yeah, that's the way my second wife was. She's you know, never marry an ugly woman because they'll just drain the life out of you, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> In case you haven't seen it, that is a quote from the that is a quote from uh Roadhouse with uh mm-hmm. um, Patrick what's Swayze. his name? Patrick, Patrick Swayze. Swayze. Yeah. Here's the funny thing, I didn't realize it, but the guy that, that is that says that quote is uh he go his name was Red something or another. And he runs the he runs the uh, auto parts store there in that town that Patrick Swayze is in. That guy was one of the entourage for Elvis Presley. Him and his brother both. Um, Red, uh, I can't remember what his name was. He always went by, and uh, but he went on to be an actor after Elvis died. You know, um, but he and his brother uh, were two of the uh, uh, Memphis Mafia. You know, or the the uh, uh, or whatever it was, the, the entourage that they were part of. Red West, mm-hmm. thank you, thank you, Grant. Yeah. Leave it to Grant; he would know. It mm-hmm. was Red West, and of course, he was part of the inner circle of Elvis Presley. Him and his brother both were. Yeah, didn't and, his uh, daughter just pass away? Elvis Presley. Yep, that she was. Just, uh, yep, yep, Lisa Marie. Two weeks Lisa ago. Marie. Art and I talked a little. I talked a little bit about this, and I'm not saying that this. There's any. This is no misinformation. This is my observation. In the last two or three, in the last three, two to three months, there's been a lot of people in their, anywhere from their late 20s to their mid 50s that have been dropping dead of heart attacks. Yeah, the guy that owned Roadhouse was, uh, owned the Roadhouse was uh, from one Adam 12, yes. But, I didn't mention yesterday, but we had Lisa Marie Presley just died of uh, mm-hmm. heart failure. Okay. Yeah, she was in her 50s. Uh, she's 54. 54. Yeah. The, the uh, uh, vice president of news for Fox News died this week, too. He was 45, dropped dead of a heart attack. Mm-hmm. The right. guy who was like in sixth place uh, from uh, uh, American Good. Idol. American Idol. Yeah. yeah. And he was 40, 44, and he died just just in the last month or so. Somebody else that I forgot to mention on your show yesterday, and we should have talked about, and that was Diamond from Diamond and Silk. Yes, that's right. She also died of a blood clot. Wow. Now, I'm not a conspiracy guy. I really am. am not, but... Exactly. I, I got I to gotta agree with what Joe says. Vax heart attacks. And yeah. now they've got it that, you know, that you don't take the boosters if you're my age because you'll get a stroke. I got enough reasons to have a stroke. I don't need to get a shot for it. But uh, I want to uh, say something to Ronnie. God bless America. Uh, no, he wasn't from Adam 12. He was from emergency. Oh, that's right. He was from emergency. Yeah, that's right. yeah. He played emergency. the blonde, and uh, you're right. His partner was Randolph Mantooth. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 It, uh, it's it's stuff, easy. Yeah. It's an easy enough mistake because the guy that was on Adam Twelve, and and the guy that was on uh, Emergency or Rescue Fifty One that it became renamed. When they reboot a little bit later, they call it Rescue Fifty One. But I always got those two confused too because they actually appeared on shows together because they were yes they were 
Jack Webb produced shows. Right. You know? Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, and Adam Twelve was a spinoff of Dragnet. Right. You know? Yep. Mm-hmm. And the guy that played on Adam Twelve, the the blonde guy, he's the one that. Uh, yep. Uh, Martin Milner. Were, yeah. Martin Milner. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was was he in Route sixty six? Yes, he was. was. That yeah, he was on Route sixty six. He was also in the Rat Patrol. Yes, that's right. Good yeah, God, we're talking, we're showing bad. our age, aren't we? Yeah, we're showing our. But yeah. yeah, he was he was one of the. I think he came in. Uh, he, I I think Mark Miller came in as a replacement for one of the guys on uh, Route sixty six. I think right. Uh, towards the and, uh, but yeah, but anyway, so we're showing our age. We remember shows mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, we're old Dr. Brackett was hitting on Nurse Dixon. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And, uh, and the funny thing was, is that guy started out in Westerns. Yeah, the, really. the guy who played the doctor. Yeah, he was a Western star long before he became, you know, synonymous with that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Emergency was a good Bobby show. Bobby Swoop? You remember Bobby Swoop? He was the in that sense. hospital show. With the... Uh, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He was the, he was sort of the, the short, goofy git, frumpy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was sort of the goofy. Yeah, he was sort of the goofy git. He was also in a few in a Harry Mason. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Harry Mason was the Star Trek of its days. Everybody who yeah. anybody did, made an appearance on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then mm-hmm. you had Perry Mason. Then it switches over. You get oh, Star yeah. Trek come out, and everybody wanted to do a and cameo. You on know, that. I believe Cloris Leachman did an episode on Perry Mason. I mean, everybody was Leonard oh, yeah, everybody. Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy. Uh, yeah. Danny Daniel J. Trevanti from Hill Street Blues. Right, right. He yeah. did an episode. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I I used to love that show. And Nancy Culp was in it. This was before she did Beverly Hillbilly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, uh, uh, she she did a lot of those type of shows. I, there's, uh, I'm trying to think which, I think it's Wee TV or something that has a lot yep. of those old yeah. shows. Oh, and, that's uh, Me TV. Me TV, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Mm-hmm. I identify as we this week, so that's we TV. <laughs> Next week it'll be me TV. Ah, geez, yeah, Jesus Christ! You know what's but, your uh, what's your pronoun this week? <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, they my TV. pronoun is this. That's my yeah, pronoun. There you go. Mine you is know. F and U. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Jim. I'm. I. I'm. Like you, yeah. They're they're talking about the, the uh, uh, the vaccines. I won't get I won't get the boosters. They didn't keep me from getting it. They didn't make it any better, or any worse. I you know I was like whatever. Well, because yeah. I want to go to the Philippines. You I gotta have to have get it. it. I know. And plus the other yeah. vaccines too, like hepatitis. Well, that you know, and malaria and and yeah. uh, what is it? dengue. Yeah, and you know, here's the thing: everybody has to make the decision. You know, I'm, and I'm not saying that all of these people died because that was it. You know, I'm not even pretending to say that. I just made the observation that it's just odd that so many people, and it seems to all be in the same age group. You know, uh, mainly yeah. late thirties to mid fifties. Wake up, you know. Ron. Yeah, wake up, Ron. And have you? Tired. Yeah. I don't know if you know it, but hell, we're nine minutes over. If you guys want to watch a dr- a real drone show, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, Instead of a uh, drone show like this yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. This is be- a lot of groaning here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of groaning here. So, but mm-hmm. uh, 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 drone nation. There we go. My drone mind nation. is a fog. To- my mind is a fog today, man. Oh, just, what, I, is it frozen fog? Yeah, it's frozen fog. fog today. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, 
I got a froggy mind, all right, but that's it. That's Hello, Joni. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. and also uh, today was my first day as a permanent employee of Trello Board. And today yeah, yeah. I went through my my conversion where I had to fill out more more paper and give them a, a void check for my direct deposit. And tomorrow I got to give them my I-9 and they're going to give me the scoop of all the benefits that I get, hopefully. And then I'll find out about my vacation. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I hope that I hope you continue to uh, stay employed there. You know, hopefully they just don't you know show up to work one day and the doors are shut and locked and nobody's there. Oh, oh. wait a minute, that already happened to you, didn't it? <laughs> this is a multinational company based out of Europe, and okay. they are in very good shape. So I won't have. They've been right. in business since uh, 1915. Well, they'll be around for a while then. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, congratulations on that. So, uh, well, guys, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna run out the time. Ron, what do you got coming up on your channel here in the near future? Uh, the only thing probably was was trips in May and June. Yeah. Unless some, you know, I'd, I'd like to take a a winter trip somewhere just for a day. Go yeah. Yeah. Filming. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a, so filming winter scene video. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do, I think I'm going to go take a nap, is what I'm going to do. So, and uh, Dominic, of course, you will be on somebody's live stream at least. Yeah. You know, somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I'll find some yeah. way. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of them out there. And, of course, Art. I uh, have a, a drone giveaway this, uh, this Saturday, Saturday, I'm giving away this Mavic Air. <coughs> oh, cool. cool. It's kind of beat up looking, scratches, but flies great. Yep. All right. Excellent. Excellent. So, cool. Well, with that said and done, I want to thank my panel here. Also, again, I want to say uh, to, you know, keep Rodney Bell in your thoughts and prayers after losing his mother this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, definitely, uh, uh, you know, check into the Drone Nation if you aren't already, already watching it. And uh, uh, y'all have a good one. I appreciate you being here, and I mean that. So, and panel, I appreciate you guys showing up and helping me stay awake and keep my uh, uh, show going. So, all right, guys, with that, yep. uh, later, everyone. For the invite. Yep. yep. Take